Reaction continuing to pour in as you can expect following the death of Hank Aaron. Fox 10 News has your team coverage. Our Michael Warwick standing by at Hank Aaron's childhood home and museum at the ballpark that bears his name. But first, let's go to our Brendan Kirby, who's also live at the Hank. And Brendan, you spoke with another Mobile native and a former baseball star himself who had very close ties with Hank. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Cleon Jones was his name. And, you know, Barry Bonds ultimately broke Hank Aaron's home run record. But to a lot of folks, Hammer and Hank will always be the true home run king. It didn't take a professional baseball scout to see that teenage Hank Aaron was bound for greatness. Former Major Leaguer Cleon Jones wasn't quite old enough to play against Aaron while growing up in Mobile, but he says he heard plenty of stories. But there was a lot of stories around Mobile. Every black stadium of uh, a recreation uh, area you went to, uh, there was a story about Hank Aaron. Well, Hank Aaron hit one there, Hank Aaron hit one there. Jones would follow in Aaron's footsteps, joining Mobile's proud legacy on the baseball diamond. He starred on the 1969 Amazing Mets World Series championship team. Jones says he doesn't think of the records and the accolades when he reflects on his friend and mentor. What I think about is uh, what he went through racially. Uh, and we don't talk enough about that. Uh, he had the weight of the world on his shoulder because he got so much hate mail and there were so many threats to his life. And I got a chance to share that with him. That hate mail was most intense as Aaron got closer to baseball's marquee record, Babe Ruth's mark for the most career home runs. Mobile resident Tom Withers remembers it well. He was a friend of Aaron's since the two were teenagers playing ball against each other. The two kept in touch. I've never seen so much of hate in my life. And uh, he received so much of threatening mail up in Atlanta. And uh, I went up there with him. He had a detective with him 24 hours. It, he never did get uh, nervous about it. Uh, he didn't talk about it. Even people who didn't know Aaron were paying their respects on Friday. One man left a bouquet of flowers at the Slugger's childhood home, now a museum at Hank Aaron Stadium. He was too broken up to talk. Ari Rosenbaum, president of the company that manages the museum, says it's a crushing day for Mobile. The world's going to miss him. He's, he's a very important figure in not just sports, but, but humanity. I mean, uh, he did a lot for uh, a lot of people, and um, he's from our city in Mobile. I also talked to Danny Cordy, head of the Mobile Sports Authority, and he says Hank Aaron was probably Mobile's most famous person. And it's hard to argue with that. Reporting live from the Hank, Brendan Kirby, Fox 10 News.